Hallmark's Countdown to Christmas includes a very special movie starring two of the network's biggest stars, Lacey Chubber and Christopher Palaha in The Christmas Quest. This is the first time that these two have starred together as romantic leads. They have been in Hall Out the Holly together but not as romantic leads. Hallmark's Lacey said that this was the first time these two were together through an entire film. Of course, both stars have been leads in several films and will continue to be for as long as Hallmark exists. Chubbert and Polaha have been with Hallmark for years and don't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. Countdown to Christmas usually premieres close to the end of October and lasts until the end of the first week in January. Hallmark usually premieres several movies during those months, usually airing on Friday or Saturday nights. This year is the 15th anniversary of the Christmas programming and fans eagerly await it every year. What is the Christmas quest about? The movie deals with a treasure hunt of sorts. Chabert is an archaeologist, while he is an expert in Old Norse languages. Although they are divorced, they are heading to Iceland on a quest. They are in search of an artifact that they need to find and not allow it to fall into the wrong hands. These two are going to have to find a way to work together to protect this artifact. Can they overcome the past and have an adventure of a lifetime? Will they reconnect and remember what brought them together in the first place? Could there be a reunion in the works as these to reconnect on their quest? The Christmas Quest will premiere on Sunday, December 1st at 8 p.m. Eastern on the Hallmark Channel. It will not be available for streaming on Peacock until 72 hours after the premiere. The movie was filmed in Iceland, Shebert said. Iceland's somewhere I've never been. When we go on location, the places become characters in the movie almost. So this one, we got to show off so much of this beautiful place and I think the audience is going to feel like they've taken a little trip to Iceland. Lacey admits that she prefers warmer temperatures because it got downright cold. Chabert said, At one point about the second week of shooting, we realized I needed a heated vest. They had a million hot packs in every pocket and we just did everything we could to stay warm. It was remarkable. We were in lava caves and hiking up an ice glacier. We gave Hallmark's leading ladies major hair makeovers and OMG, while well, Hallmark's leading ladies and gents are quite literally the faces of the network which means that they have to be camera ready at all times. Speaking specifically about the ladies however, the network couldn't have picked a better bunch than Lacey Chubbert, Kimberly Williams Paisley and Allison Sweeney to represent the family-friendly network. Over the years, this trio of actors has starred in dozens of Hallmark programs including fan faves such as One Bad Apple, A Hannah Swenson Mystery, and Groundswell. Sweeney and Chubber even worked together on the Wedding Veil franchise. When these Hallmark leading ladies are not filming, they're flaunting their stuff on red carpets and appearing on talk show couches, including the network's own since-canceled daytime show Home and Family, which has a pretty scandalous past behind the scenes. Of course, they always look amazing. Whether Sweeney is embracing her gorgeous blonde tresses or Chubbert and Williams Paisley are thriving on the brunette end of the spectrum, they always manage to add a little style and sophistication to any event they attend. That said, it's always fun to change things up now and again, which is why a static media photo editor worked their magic to exclusively give the ladies a virtual makeover. As usual, we can't believe our eyes. Lacey Chubbert has undergone a remarkable Hollywood transformation, but she's remained pretty loyal to her signature look. You know, dark, medium-length brown hair, usually curled away from her face with a side part. Of course, we're not complaining about the look, as it obviously works for her and probably helps her get into character for her sweet, cookie-cutter roles across Hallmark. However, Static Media's photo editor gave Chebert some extra oomph by digitally adding a little, well a lot of length, chocolate brown highlights and a face-framing fringe that somehow makes the ageless beauty look even younger. That said, Chebert already knows how to add a little volume and character all on her own. During a 2021 interview with Hello Giggles, the star spilled all of her secrets to getting gorgeous, volumized hair. When I wake up, I use the Up the Volume shampoo and conditioner she shared about the products that give her a little extra boost. I do anything to add volume to my hair and I love big hair, she continued. I use a lot of products to help with that and it really helps my hair to have more volume and be more bouncy. Kimberly Williams Paisley, also known as country crooner Brad Paisley's wife, has sported a variety of looks over the years, including the gorgeous, voluminous curls she debuted in 1991's Father of the Bride. 
However, recent years have seen her flaunt sleek, medium brown tresses tinged with subtle highlights, especially during her tenure with Hallmark. Thanks to Static Media's photo editor, we know a shorter cut could also work for Kimberly. Well, a short bob at least. As you can see, the Hallmark alum looks gorgeous with a chin-length bob and asymmetrical feathered bangs. She also totally owns a slightly richer, more vibrant color, full of warm red undertones. Basically, it's a yes for us. But while this is the first time she's had hair this short, she's certainly no stranger to wearing dyed hair. In fact, Kimberly's husband, Brad, has even dyed it for her himself, at least during the COVID-19 lockdown. This is going to ruin everything I've worked towards in my image, the singer said in a video posted to social media in 2020 via People, though something tells us his sweet act of service only made his fans love him more. How was he qualified to take on such an important task? I've been cutting my own hair and coloring hair as well, he shared. I'm a jack asterisk asterisk ass of all trades at this point. Allison Sweeney has been in the entertainment business for several decades, dating back to the late 80s when she first appeared on Simon & Simon. That, of course, means that she's enjoyed an ever-evolving style transformation. Yeah, most fans may be used to Sweeney enjoying long, cascading curls or the occasional updo, especially if she's in filming mode, but she's totally open to change. In fact, Sweeney even cut off her long, gorgeous locks in 2017 so that she could try out a chic, sassy bob. Chop chop. Fresh summer cut by at Rihanna. Hashtag TBT, hashtag summer hair, she captioned her post on Facebook. But while length may be up for debate, color hasn't been, as Sweeney has always donned blonde hair during various stages of her career. Well, until now, that is. Static Media's photo editor completely transformed Sweeney by pairing the star with deep brown hair. And we don't know about you, but this may be the most striking transformation of the three actors. While Sweeney's blonde hair complements her just fine, the brown hair spruces up her look in a new, exciting way. And while her current style melds well with her Hallmark affiliation, the darker color would definitely work best with grittier material. Come on Sweeney, just think about it, 